My name is Mark. I'm with the Ring of Fire Cookers. Uh, we've been competitive cooking for approximately 12 years. Um, it's just a crime of passion. Um, today we're going to cook a tri-tip. Tri-tip is part of the sirloin. Um, I got this one at Randall's. You can see it's a triangular piece of meat. Uh, it's about two pounds. Um, Randall's is really the only place I've found that um, keeps it, you know, in the in the bin where you can just go up and pick it up anywhere else you're probably going to ask to ask the uh, butcher to cut it for you. I've taken some uh, rough chopped garlic and put it in some canola oil and let it set overnight. Uh, this infuses the oil and I'm going to rub, apply some of this oil to the tri-tip just to uh, give the rub something to stick to. Um, it just helps the meat in the uh, rub adhere to each other and makes it stay on a little better. Do both sides. The uh, what I'll do is afterwards I will add the uh, equal parts red wine vinegar to the infused oil, and this will be my basting sauce once I start cooking. These little bullets are great. I don't know if you have one or not, but they uh, are great for mixing up your rear rub. Uh, this rub is equal parts salt, pepper, and garlic, and then it has just a little bit of cayenne in it just to give it a little bit of a kick. Um, <laughs> I try not to apply this too thick on the tri-tip, not like I would do on a brisket, but enough to cover it. Now what it will do is it will uh, we'll cover this piece of meat up and I'll put it back in the fridge and uh, in about four hours we'll uh, fire the grill up and we'll cook it. ready to put on the grill now. I've already started the grill and what I did was I pushed all the coals to one side so that I have a, a direct and an indirect heat source under my grill. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the infused oil that we did earlier and I'm going to add the red wine vinegar to it. It's about a 50-50 mix and uh, it doesn't have to be exact. It's just something to baste it with and uh, I'll get this set to the side. Let me give it a good shake. And we'll go ahead and we'll get the, uh, the tri-tip on. I don't think it really matters which way you start this. You can start it fat down or fat up. It's not going to really matter. I've got this on the hot side right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sear it. So I'm going to get it and just crisp it up on the outside as, you know, to lock in the juices and then I'm going to flip it over and then I will move it over to the indirect side and we'll finish cooking it on that side. Okay, we got all both sides of this piece of meat seared. So what I did was I moved it over here on the indirect side and I started my basting. The garlic infused olive oil and the red wine vinegar, it, uh, when it hits those coals, it, it smells awesome. It, uh, it really brings out the flavor in the meat. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook this till it's about 125 to 130 interior, and then we'll pull it off and we'll set it and we'll let it rest for about 10 minutes. Um, the bigger the piece of meat, the longer it's going to cook after you take it off the uh, grill. So that's why we pull it, you know, at 125 because it's going to continue to cook and the, the internal temperature will keep going up and. I want it. I want it medium rare. I, I don't want to overcook this piece of meat because then when you slice it, it's it's just not as good. So anyway, we're going to close it up, and I'll keep applying the base to it. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, blood orange Mexican martini. Okay, I'm ready to slice this now. Uh, it's starting to get dark on me, but if you if you look when these are cooked, you can see the grain runs this way. And then it runs this way, so I'm gonna have to slice it two different ways. But uh, we'll start off here. The further I get into it, the more rare it should get, where it's thicker. Oh, that's good. I guess this is what's for dinner.
Well, this turned out really good. And the Mexican martini on top of it. Thanks for watching. Mmm.